Hi there. I want to quickly show you how one can use Zotero with the extension in a browser such as Chrome to rapidly capture citations. So the first thing to mention is we want to start with Zotero open and over here in the library section we want to carefully select the um, library or the collection that we want the downloads and the citations to appear in. So let's just click on, on factory history there. Now if we move over to the browser, and I have this all already set up for you, um, I'm operating within JSTOR. I've already been playing with JSTOR for 20 or 30 minutes, so I've given it permission to download PDFs. This is really important because if you don't give it permission to download PDFs, it will only capture the citation. Here, up in the um, toolbar of my Chrome browser, this little icon means that uh, Zotero is embedded and working. So um, let's say we're going to add uh, one of my articles on comparative sugar to the Zotero database. We're going to search, uh, just like we you know, normally would, within uh, JSTOR. And then at this point, once we have the article we want, we don't have to do really, we don't really have to do anything further. We don't need to call up this article. We don't need to download the PDF. All we need to go is to go back to that icon where Zotero is embedded. You'll notice that it's changed a little bit to a, a file. Okay? And we click it. At this point, it asks us which items we want to add. There's only one showing, so we click it, and then we click OK. And if we look here, we can chart its progress, it, telling us where it's saving it, and it's also telling us that it's capturing the full text PDF into Zotero. Now, where this becomes really useful is when one wants to save multiple items. So, for instance, let's say we wanted to pull all of the reviews of Joshua Freeman's book, Behemoth, which is a history of the factory. It's the same sort of thing. We set up JSTOR just as we normally would. We hit search. At this point, we have many, many results. Um, the current screen is showing the first 25 entries. It's telling me there's 466 that will come up. Now watch what happens here. All of a sudden, by clicking the Zotero icon, I can choose multiple reviews. And let's just, for the sake of demonstration, choose the first five and maybe one down here. Okay, obviously you'd want to scroll through and see which ones you're getting. Now when you hit OK, look, it's downloading all of these citations and, where possible, it's also downloading JSTOR in full text. So you can move relatively quickly. This icon will work in all sorts of fields. You could have it, um, you could be logged on to your library's catalog, you could even be looking at websites. So if we go back here into Zotero, you'll see not only has it captured everything we've put up there, but it's also got the JSTOR full text of these all with the click of a button. So I hope this helps. Have fun.